Sunday before last uh, at the Olivia Awards, we, we picked up the, the the best new musical. Sherry, Sherry baby, Sherry. Yeah, the award was getting passed around many people. I mean, everybody wanted a little touch of it, but uh, yeah, it's a fantastic award. You know, you know Lawrence, you know, looking really strong. You know, and Henry V mode with you know a little crown and. Yeah, yeah, it was really nice. It's nice to see the Jersey Boys name on there for Best Musical. Bob was there and one of our writers, a Academy Award winning writer, uh, were there to pick up the award. And it was just it was just a great way to end the first year. There it is, I'm holding it. This is amazing. Anyway, this this is another doorstop for my for my father. You're just too good. You know, it's been for, for us, and I said this in accepting the award last night, Frankie reminded me three or four days ago, the first time we played in London, it's about 47 years ago, and it was at the Hammersmith Odeon. So it, to win an, an Olivier Award 47 years after we started is, is just stunning. Can't take my eyes off of you. It's been amazing because this was my first dipping my toe in the water in terms of musical theater. Uh, I'm really a movie guy, uh, come from movies, worked with Woody Allen and, and did a bunch of films of my own and then um, now this and, and, and to be quite frank I almost didn't do it and I wake up sweating <laughs> realizing that I almost passed on it. Oh no, I did think my life was in danger a few times, yeah. In the, in the script, I, I just want to know exactly what he was feeling at the time because of course it's all true and especially the bit where they go into the, the sit down where they've got the, yeah, the whole episode with the, the, the mafia boss and paying the money back. Is there material that I, that, that I couldn't include in the, in the script that we found out in our, in our research? And the answer is of course. I mean, uh, the lives of these guys is fascinating and you could do a, you know, you could do a 12 hour movie about it. But the main thing is that, that there are uh, ex-wives and girlfriends and people who are still alive, uh, and there are, are associates uh, with uh, who have uh, uh, guns with permits and guns without permits. That's a it's very kind of outside of Bob's normal life, uh, and the, the, with all the research that I did about you know Bob's up, upbringing, and so he felt really kind of out of his depth there. And that's basically what he said. He said, "Oh, you should be thankful that you're just playing it." When Yeah, I mean, he's he's probably one of the best we have uh, of all the companies. I think we're, we have six now going on seven with Australia uh, coming in July. He he's just got it, you know. He got it from day one. But uh, Ryan and Glenn and Stephen and Philip and Scott, who plays Frankie Valley twice a week, are just spectacular. A British woman have, uh, on on opening night recognized me, and she came over and said, Bob. Uh, yeah, wonderful show. Uh, I do it very badly, but you get the point. Uh, and she was totally British and said, uh, it just would have been nice if, if you used some of our fine actors here. I said, you mean British actors? She said, yes, we have some fine, fine actors. I said, the whole cast is British, and she was just astounded. I don't know, it's kind of funny because when people see a show like this and they enjoy it so much, it kind of knocks them out of their normal, you know, public persona. I think that was particularly the case of, um, of um, the Beckhams and, and uh, you know, they came out and they just were beaming, they loved it. We have great fun on stage, so they're a fantastic group of guys and I think that chemistry that we have is, is another main reason why we stayed on because we just have so much fun together off stage and on stage. Oh, sugar! That's what I'm talking about.